And you mentioned a lot of people that you know and love, especially have limited exposure, which is totally true. And I feel like it's a good mindset to have, but what have you been exposed to, to know that this could go south? Because when it comes to that, I watch HGTV, but I don't know what's happening behind the scenes. So what are you, what did you ever notice where they weren't upfront about some of the costs of these projects? Constantly, you know, Ryan can speak to this too. From the moment I was 22 years old, I had people give me false financial information related to scopes of work that didn't make any sense. You know, so having a master's degree in engineering and then, you know, having the experience I have with the background I have being an athlete, you know, I, I know I'm not the smartest person in the room, but I also can live in some degree of discernment when you give me a, you know, when you give me a $25,000 quote to install six cabinets in the kitchen. Yeah. So, so living with that, you know, so maybe there's some hypervigilance there. Sure. Mm -hmm. For me to work through. I also think that it's a unique, there's been a gifting of that too, because now we, Brian and I both live in a pretty deep degree of discernment as it relates to what's true and what's false. Um, you know, Ryan's had some crazy experiences with that as well. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, it actually was a, a construction. Uh, I was doing an addition on my house in Colorado. This is before, you know, I kind of brought Garrett into the, this was four or five years ago now. And, you know, looking back on it, I, I just didn't know any better. And, you know, I ended up getting charged half a million dollars for a project that probably should have been half of that. Wow. And, you know, it's one of those things you you learn as you go and, and having somebody around you like Garrett, um, you know, especially uh, more recently, uh, I've acquired some land in Colorado and, you know, like, like Garrett mentioned, like I'm, I'm smart, but I'm not always the smartest guy in the room. And so I called him to ask for advice on the uh, acquisition of this land. And, you know, we had this, brief contract that I had signed or I hadn't signed it yet, but we're going over with um, buying this property. And there's just stuff in there, you know, terminology that I didn't really know what was happening, you know, to an extent I could, it felt fishy, but I just wasn't sure what was fishy about it. You know, I brought him out and he kind of went through it and he goes, yeah, it's like this, this, and this is, he's trying to, he's trying to pull the wool over your eyes a little bit. Mm -hmm. And being able to, uh, you know, take that apart from that level, in and going oh, okay now i see it i think it's a, just an education thing you know there's so many guys who you know are in my position who you know have been successful in the nfl made a bunch of money and they don't really care they go oh, they'll just blindly write a check and i think that's something when we try to shepherd our clients through it's like no like they're they're hiding this information on purpose so you don't really you know look at it that you know hoping you'll just kind of skim over it and sign the check and that's something I think we've really done uh, very well with all of our clients is being, you know, transparent, having that upfront, you know, the, the loaf of bread is going to cost what the loaf of bread costs. Right. And, you know, when you start seeing these kind of strange numbers in some of these different, you know, projects or whatever uh, from a different company or, or however you want to look at it, you know, there's something probably fishy about what that is if the, if the loaf of bread's costing three X what the, the loaf of bread actually is supposed to cost. 